Hello, uh, this is Funny Guy Timmy, and um, Funny Guy Timmy, and we are showing you uh, split screening uh, right now. This this is a tutorial on doing the split screen. Again, I will split this into two parts: uh, shooting and then editing. Um, split screening is one of the most basic uh, and easiest um, camera tricks or effects that you can do. Um, it's it's if you wanted to do cloning or if you didn't have enough people and wanted to double um, the amount of people that you had uh, you'd do split screen uh, unlike green screening there's no uh, special equipment that you need all you need is a camera um, uh, but you have to set the camera in a place where it's not going to move. Uh, for right now, I have it on a tripod, no one's holding it. Uh, it's, um, and I have the tripod tightened where it's not going to move. And uh, if you notice, I'm shooting indoors and not outdoors. Outdoors, there's a greater chance of things moving. And if things move, it will destroy the effect. Uh, the point is, uh, doing split screening, is that you shoot in one take. Uh, you shoot everything in one take. Um, now, if you have a remote for your camera, you can stop recording, uh, but I would not advise it because a lot of times when you stop and then change up like where the people are and then start recording again, uh, it will uh, the coloring on the camera will change. So leave the camera on. That's what I'd say. Uh, number two, plan everything out ahead of time. Know exactly what you're going to do, uh, where the people are going to be um, before you start shooting. Um, and, uh, and one thing that I do is I normally try to figure out where I want to split the camera ahead of time, uh, where I want to split it, uh, before I start shooting. Uh, I like to pick a spot that has a horizontal line. Like, for example, the, uh, pole, uh, to the bed. That's pretty much in the middle of the screen right now. Uh, if you find a horizontal line and you you put the um, where you split split the camera, um, then it if they do see the the split, uh, it's already on a horizontal line and it makes it almost invisible if you do it right. So what would actually be done now is uh, once I'm done shooting my half, I would then move over to the other half and. Uh, shoot the exact same length of uh, footage um, over there because uh, otherwise it's there's going to be a time uh, crisis and it also in doing a split screening you can't uh, cut and you can't edit in the middle um, it has it has to be smooth uh, so uh, tripod it has to be steady the camera has to be steady you have to know what you're going to be doing in advance uh, you don't have to light it specially uh, for this, uh, but if you do light it, uh, which I would advise, light it in a way that um, it breaks up shadows. Like there isn't just one source of light coming from one direction because the shadows might uh, uh, move over into the other half of the screen. Um, so uh, that is pretty much it for my half. Uh, now I just got to go over there and shoot it, shoot his half. So. Hello, uh, this is Funny Guy Timmy, and um, Funny Guy Timmy, and we are showing you uh, split screening. 